okay, I will get those drinks started for you. Good day behind you. Sheldon, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get these tables cleared. We're slammed. No, wait, wait, no, wait. What are you doing here? A reasonable question. I ask myself, what is the most mind-numbing pedestrian job conceivable? And three answers came to mind. A toll booth attendant, an Apple store genius, <laughs> and what Penny does. Now, <laughs> since I don't like touching other people's coins, and I refuse to contribute to the devaluation of the word genius, <laughs> here I am. You just, you just walked in and they hired you? Just like that? Oh, heavens no. Since I don't need to be paid, I didn't need to be hired. I simply came in, picked up a tray, and started working for the man. <laughs> Let me get that plate out of your way. Sheldon, this is ridiculous. Well, is it? Just a moment ago, I had a minor epiphany regarding the polymer degradation phenomenon while scraping congealed nachos off a plate. <laughs> Burn at that table 10 wants their check. Thanks, Sheldon. Sheldon, wait, this isn't even what I do. I'm a waitress, not a busboy. You're right, that is more menial. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sheldon. I'll be your server today. <laughs> I don't recommend the salmon. I saw it in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, one bacon cheeseburger, breaking two Jewish dietary restrictions simultaneously. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> Beer battered fish and chips. Now, here's your tartar sauce. I also brought you salsa. It's a little unconventional, but I think you'll like it. It's zingy. <laughs> and for you, factory burrito grande. No cheese, no sour cream, no ugly consequences from your lactose intolerance. <laughs> bon appetit. Hang on. Black beans, not pinto beans? Yes. Double guacamole? Of course. No cilantro? Nope. Lettuce shredded, not chopped? Yep. You understand why I'm doing this to you? I do. I'll be all. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> How long can you keep this up? I heard about this professor at MIT who melted down, bought a van, and spent the rest of his life as a mobile dog groomer. He never went back to the university? Mm, only to shampoo Professor Schamberg's shih tzu. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, I bet if we all chipped in, we could buy Sheldon the van. But he's afraid of dogs. Yeah, that's the only thing wrong with that plan. Hey, guys, sorry you had to wait, but we are swamped. What's this? Uh, Sheldon took our order. Sheldon doesn't work here. Well, uh, honey, not to complain, but we were starting to think you didn't either. Is that really necessary? <laughs> Good Lord. The interference pattern in the fracture. The motion of the wave through the molecular structure. I've been looking at it all wrong. I can't consider the electrons as particles. They move through the graphene as a wave. It's a wave! <laughs> the moment to applaud would be now. <laughs> Troglodytes. Sheldon, where are you going? Aren't you going to clean this up? Well, I'm sorry, I don't work here. 